Hey you guys, what's going on? My name is Jake and thank you for joining me again here at Exploit Academy. Now in this video, we're going to look at using scheduled tasks to perform lateral movement inside of an Active Directory environment. Let's check it out. All right, everybody, so I'm inside of VMware and I have three machines open for this example. I have our attacker box, which is, of course, Kali Linux, a second machine, which is the Windows 10 host that we are currently inside of, and then the domain controller running Windows Server 2012. Now, again, because this is a lateral movement, movement example, I already went ahead and skipped some steps for you guys. Um, we assume that we already exploited this Windows 10 machine and we have a shell on it which I got right here inside of Metasploit. So if I were to type in host name, you can see it comes up as Windows 10 PC, and I can verify that by coming over here into the machine itself, typing in host name, and you will see it comes up as Windows 10 PC. Okay, so I have a shell on that computer. Now, how do I move from this Windows 10 host inside of the domain controller, assuming they're inside the same network? Well, you can do that by using scheduled tasks. And I have a setup.exe file right here, which is a malicious backdoor I created using MSF Venom. Now, what I did was I created a quick Python HTTP server and transferred over that setup.exe file backdoor, whatever you want to call it, into the C directory of the Windows 10 host. So this setup.exe is the same as this that I created here on Kali. And it's essentially just a backdoor that gives me a reverse shell. So with everything in place, how do I get that setup exe file into the domain controller and how do I execute it? So we're going to look at how to do that with scheduled tasks. So to do that, you're going to type in scheduled tasks slash create slash s and slash s you pick your target. So that's 192.168.233. 134 for me this is the uh, IP address of the domain controller slash task name so that's going to be test slash schedule which is going to be once slash start date which is going to be some date in the past so 0101 0, 0, 1, 2000 slash start time do 000, 0, 0 slash uh, user we're just going to pick system slash task to run and we are going to point to our malicious backdoor okay so before i hit enter let's go ahead and check this out real quick i'm creating a scheduled tasks the schedule tasks slash create tac s for the ip address which is um your target ip address so this right here is the domain controller ip the name of the scheduled task which is test for me the uh, the schedule for it to run, so the frequency, I just have it set for once. The start date, which is right here, the start time, just right here, and then the user to run it as, so hopefully we get a shell as system. And then the task to run, which is going to be that setup.exe. Okay, so everything looks good. Let's go ahead and run this real quick. Okay, great. So we can see that our task was created successfully. So we get a warning here that says task may not run because the start time is earlier than the current time. Not a big deal. We'll go ahead and fix that. For uh, what you want to see is the success message saying the scheduled task test has successfully been created. So we know for a fact the scheduled task has been created, and I can verify that by coming over here onto the domain controller and then looking up tasks to pull up the task scheduler. And then if I click right here, we can see that we have a test scheduled task created. And last runtime, it's never ran. So we need to find a way to execute that scheduled task. Well, to do that, it's pretty simple. So remember, we named it test, right? So to, to actually run the scheduled task, you're going to type in scheduled task slash s and use the same target as before. So 192.168.233. 232.134 slash run and the task name for us is test and then you can see right here before I press enter I want to let you guys know I do have a listener 
ready to catch this connection back from our back door. So you can see here, this is just a uh, exploit multi-handler here in Metasploit, and it's ready to catch that connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and execute and start the task. You see it here, it attempted to run the scheduled task test. And then right here, we do have a shell open on the domain controller. So if I type in hostname, you can see we are now that win P6HD70 ICPFR, whatever. I didn't rename the domain controller, but if I come over here and show you guys, um, if I type in hostname, we are indeed, I can't zoom in on it, but we are indeed that win P6HD whatever uh, host. So we are inside of the, of the uh, domain controller. And that is how you perform lateral movement or pivoting inside of Active Directory environments using scheduled tasks. If you found this video useful or you just want to leave some kind words for me, drop a comment, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.